So in today's lecture, let me introduce you to pathology. What is pathology? Pathology is the study of disease by scientific methods. Patho means disease and logi, as you all know, is the study. Therefore, pathology is a scientific study of the disease. It focuses on the structural, biochemical and functional changes in cells, tissues and organs in disease. Now let's see what are the structural changes that are studied in pathology. A pathology involves the structural changes observed by the naked eye examination which are referred to as gross or macroscopic examination and also the changes detected by the microscope which may be further supported by numerous staining techniques. Now histopathology is the branch of pathology which deals with the examination of tissues from the body under a microscope to spot the signs and characteristics of a disease. Now pathology also involves some quantitative determination of various biochemical constituents in serum, plasma and other body fluids such as urine, CSF or the cerebrospinal fluid and semen. Now pathology is basically the study of altered function or study of disease. So it focuses changes in function of any cell tissue or an organ. So again, pathology focuses on the structural changes, the biochemical changes and functional changes that take place in cells, tissues and organs in a disease state. What are the subdivisions of pathology? So it is conventionally divided into general pathology which deals with the general principles of the disease and systemic pathology which deals with the study of diseases pertaining to specific organs and body systems. So general pathology focuses the general principles involved in a disease while systemic pathology basically explains different diseases and their detailed pathologies. Now areas of study in general pathology include cellular adaptation to injury, necrosis which is the death of living cells or tissues, inflammation, wound healing, neoplasia or the cancer or the abnormal new growth of cells. Or we may define pathology as the field of science and medicine which is concerned with the study of disease specifically the initial causes or the etiologies, the stepwise progression or the pathogenesis of the disease, the molecular and the morphological changes that takes place and the resulting clinical manifestations or the signs and symptoms of a disease. And you may remember this by the acronym EPMC. E -P -M and C. Now etiology of a disease means the cause of a disease. If the cause of a disease is known it is called primary etiology and if the cause of a disease is unknown it is called idiopathic. Now there are two major classes of etiological factors genetic and acquired. So it may be determined by your genes or it may be acquired by means of infections. Nutritional changes may also lead to certain pathologies and there could be some chemical and physical factors involved such as the use of chemical agents. Physical things may include injury or trauma. Now what is pathogenesis? The pathogenesis means the mechanism through which the cause or the etiology operates to produce the pathological and clinical manifestations or structural and functional abnormalities. Or we may say that pathogenesis refers to the sequence of events 
in the response of the cells or tissues to the etiological agent. Now it is basically the response of your cells or tissues to that particular etiological agent which could be an infection or a physical or a chemical agent. Now from when to when? From the initial stimulus to the ultimate expression of the disease. Now it also includes the study of incubation period of a disease and the incubation period is the time from the exposure to an infectious agent until signs and symptoms of the disease appear. So the person is asymptomatic, he was exposed to an infection, now the incubation period involves the time course as how long it takes an infected person to show the initial symptoms. Now let's see how morphological changes in pathology are discussed. The morphological changes refer to the structural alterations in cells or tissues that occur following the pathogenetic mechanisms. The structural changes in the organ can be seen with the naked eye or they may only be seen under the microscope. Now the changes which could be visualized by naked eye are called gross morphological changes and those which could only be visualized under a microscopic lens are called microscopic changes. The morphological changes in the organ influence the normal function of the organ and thus determine the clinical features or the signs and symptoms of the disease, the course and the prognosis of the disease. Now the prognosis is the outcome of the disease. Now let's say this guy caught a bacterial infection, for example strep throat caused by streptococcal species. He was fine until he developed some symptoms. Now the period between the exposure to the bacteria and the development of symptoms is the incubation period. And you know the symptoms may include fever, malaise, body ache, headache and cough. So in summary, pathology involves the etiology, the pathogenesis, the morphological changes and the clinical features and prognosis of a disease. Thank you. See you again soon.